This morning, we are going fishing in a brand new Southern Roots. We sure <laughs> are. This week, I caught up with two Savannah men reeling in customers from around the world with their own line of fishing lures. Fishing and friendship, that's what it all boils down to for Riley Creasy and Chris Lane. Well, we were probably nine and 10 years old and we were, uh, we met bass fishing in uh, the Old Town Pond at, uh, on Wilmington Island. And we had no idea what we were doing at first, but uh, we worked at it every day and learned which lures worked and which ones didn't. That lure knowledge learned while fishing the ponds on Wilmington Island, leading these two Savannah men to start their own company, Savannah Lures. This one is actually the uh, the original little tuna plug that I made about five years ago that started this. From that single little tuna plug, a booming business was born. Creasy and Lane now producing a wide range of fishing tackle being used by anglers around the world. It's a huge range when you're talking about inshore fishing to blue water fishing. So we're focusing on the blue water stuff now, and then we're going to ease into it in the next year or so for the inshore lures. Marlin, tuna, wahoo, kingfish, all being caught on these lures created right here in coastal Georgia. The brand well, it continues to grow with each big fish caught. We've got two-tone resins on them. We've got abalone shells. We've got uh, our logo where an eyeball would be. So it, it looks like an actual fish swimming through the water. With over 40 years of experience combined, these two men know what works and what doesn't. Each creation, a work of art that's not only catching the eye of the big fish. I've had uh, girls ask me if we could make earrings out of them for them before and giving them to people to use as uh, Christmas ornaments, <laughs> just people that don't fish. Now you want to know how to land these locally made lures? Well, I've shared the information for you on our website, WJCL.com. And while you're there, make sure to check out my story about Savannah's upcoming Memorial Tarpon Tournament that honors a late local fishing legend while also raising money for cancer research. Again, you can find both those stories and much more on our website, WJCL.com.